Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys, well, not just one fresh look. Basically, four fresh looks. Bit of a retro shiz combined with uh, looking at a, a new figure, at least for my collection. I recently got the new Super 7 Mondo Gecko TMNT Ultimates figure. And having just looked at the recent reaction figure... Being a big fan of the old Playmates, loving what NECA is doing with their cartoon turtles, especially with that version of Mondo Gecko, I thought, well, why not take all the Mondo Geckos I have, and, and we'll do a video, and we'll call it the Many Mondos of Gecko, right? How creative is that? Too many Mondo Geckos in the collection, right? And before anyone asks, yes, I know that there was the 2012 version of Mondo Gecko, and I know there's the rock and roll Mondo Gecko from Playmates Toys. I don't have those, and because they don't look like this Mondo, uh, we're not talking about them. But uh, in either case, this is going to be fun, so sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at several Mondo Geckos in my new video, The Many Mondos of Gecko. By Playmates Toys, NECA Toys, and Super 7. And while I got all you geckos here, if you haven't already, I do highly recommend Entertainment Earth for all your action figure shopping needs. If you're a big fan of Pops, or Star not that Star Wars figure, Princess Bride, X-Men, things of that nature, well then, Entertainment Earth may be right up your alley. Now, we can go ahead and type in Mondo Gecko here and... Pull it up and you can get the Super 7 Mondo and the Reaction Mondo, both of which we will be taking a look at today. Or if Super 7 doesn't float your boat, well, why not check out NECA Toys? Highly recommend NECA always. They do great things. Very, very creative company. Let's just put it to you that way. So to reiterate, new pre-orders for toys, maybe ones that you missed, definitely check out Entertainment Earth. I guarantee you'll find something you like. So what better place to start than with the original Mondo Gecko by Playmates Toys? I still remember getting this figure. I went with my dad to Target. They had a little standee in the very front of the store. Turtles was a very big thing back then, and he was uh, sitting right there in the little standee, of course. So Mondo Gecko has his classic skateboard. It's a motorized skateboard. It's got the wheels, which basically just plug into the bottom. Great sculpt work. I used to pop these out all the time. Yeah, they're not uh, wanting to budge. I don't want to break anything either. But yeah, they used to come out pretty easily. Took this thing in the bath. I'm amazed that the sticker lasted as long as it did. Not much paint on this, minus the sticker and, of course, the different plastic for the wheels. But Mondo Gecko, just a classic Playmates Ninja Turtles figure. Very iconic. Even the people that go, ah, I don't know who Ray Filet is. I have no idea who Wingnut is. They know who Mondo Gecko is. He's just a very popular, obscure Ninja Turtles character. And I always like his tongue was sticking out. He had his braces. Of course, he only had about six points of articulation. The legs, the arms, tail articulation. Ooh, fancy, right? Some decent paint, we'll say here and there. A little roller skate on the tail was always my favorite. The pointy knee pad, the skull knee pad, the little glove right here where they didn't paint the inside of the hand green, right? Which I'll show you on the Super 7 one. They totally did. But... In either case, yeah, it was just a very, very cool-looking skater figure. And because, yeah, as a kid, you know, I liked to skateboard. I pretended to, at least. Was never very good at it. But he just was, uh, you know, Ninja Turtle figure having a good time. So you take a skateboard, you got the pegs on it, and you could launch him down the driveway, right? I used to do that all the time. And I recommend putting him this way, just so he's, he's better situated, right? Too far off the board if you go... The other way, but he stood nice. Now mine doesn't have the sticker anymore on the front or the back of the t-shirt. But he still looks good. He stands well. He'll still roll around for the most part. He's just a very cool action figure and one that really is near and dear to me in my Ninja Turtle collection. So all these years later, NECA Toys goes, well, hey, wait a minute. Let's totally turn this around in its head. Remember the Playmates Toys figure? Well, it's not exactly what showed up in the cartoon version of the old 80s Ninja Turtles this was what we got, and yeah, he sort of shared similarities to the Playmates Toys figure. The board was completely different, gone were the skulls and everything of that nature, but 
NECA did a great job with his skateboard. The wheels would roll, had a little semblance of paint in the wheels, which was nice. The trucks are fairly simplistic. The board is very surfboard, skateboard imbued, right? Kind of a combo, a nice motor, right? They painted that really beautifully. And they actually painted the inside of the exhaust ports. So it was very cool decal, very different from the Playmates one, but definitely a welcome one, especially in the figure itself. Utilizing a gorgeous sculpt, a sculpt that's straight out of the cartoon. He's got the cell shaded dual tones of green right there. Still has the same similarities as the original Playmates. He's got the skull knee pad. He's got the spike. The shoes had a little bit more paint. Different shirt logo. Gone again, the skull, but a skateboard with some electric lightning bolts. He does have some nice tail articulation. Beautifully painted, by the way. Nice segmented tail right there. And, of course, down to the elbow pads. The shirt has nice black lines in it to simulate that animated look. You could also articulate the mouth, which was actually really cool. No tongue. Of course, he didn't really have a tongue like that in the actual cartoon, but nice head articulation overall. The hat was cool. His little ponytail, rat tail, little spit curl in the front. Some good articulation in the arms, the abdomen. Very, very uh, stuck in some instances. Not all the time. I kind of hated this guy. I've had this guy for quite a while now. So, you know, he, he kind of loosened up a little bit. But, yeah, starting off. <laughs> Always heat the neck of figures up, let's just say. But he came with extra hands and very show-specific accessories, which is always great. That's where NECA really excels. And you could put him on his board, and he could have a great time laughing all the way, hanging out with Michelangelo, doing crimes whatever he may do. So I put him on the board and yeah, this was a great follow-up to the original Playmates one. Just having the Playmates, having this new NECA one, it was definitely fun. Still is. Highly recommend him for the TMNT Turtle collection. Which brings us to now my latest Mondo Gecko figure. This is from Super 7 as part of their TMNT Ultimates figures. Basically, what they do is they take the original Playmates sculpts by Varner Studios and they supercharge them. They give them a whole host of new articulation. They kind of sort of change things here and there. Like, they'll give you extra hands, we'll say. And these are all nicely painted. See, they painted the green in there. And right? unlike the old Playmates one, you know, it went back in the day. But really cool to give him that extra hands for the whole skateboarding ensemble. And then... An extra head. Now, this is the original head sculpt from the Playmates version of Mondo Gecko. You notice the tongue is sticking out. A little bit more vibrant colors, of course. But you can see, yeah, it's definitely the original sculpt. He's sticking his tongue right through the gap in his teeth, which is awesome. The skateboard, I am of two minds of this, I'll tell you. It's cool that they've recreated the skateboard. There's some paint to it. The wheels are largely the same. They will roll around. It's really nicely done, really nicely designed, but my other sense is saying Super 7 is kind of a skateboarding, extreme sports sort of company in many ways. And I really feel like they missed an opportunity to kind of redesign the board, put a lot of actual skateboard parts and pieces, kind of grunge it up a little bit, the wheels and such, because yeah, it lacks a lot of paint to it, yes. It totally recreates the board from the Playmates one. Pretty good. But then you don't paint the engine. You don't paint the exhaust. You are missing out on so many details on this that it's kind of like, well, why do it exactly the same? What's the point of making the exact same board when you're trying to build off of something that's come before and then you just kind of end up doing the same thing with slight changes here and there. So the board is cool, but it's also kind of a missed opportunity, if I'm being honest. But the figure is very much that nostalgic sweet spot for me. And I love the extra head portrait that he comes with. He's smiling. His tongue is doing the whole thing you know things sticking out you got the missing tooth right there the braces are still there it's awesome they did a great job with this hands down it's like having the old one with all this new fangled articulation points to him a little extra paint kind of bringing forth that sculpt right and i like that you have the skate on the tail right but there's another thing where i feel like the wheels should have articulated you pay all this money for this ultimate version of these ninja turtles and it's still kind of stuck in that Playmates era, so to speak, which I would expect it just a little bit more. But I love the cowabunga, you know, he's doing the whole hand symbol right there. That's awesome. I love that extra hand, open-ended hand. 
The design on the shirt is great. The articulation works for what it is. It's just a step above the Playmate stuff. And yeah, you can see the differences between the two, the changes, the similarities, extra head portrait, of course. But very cool nonetheless to have a more updated, articulated Mondo Gecko. Which finally brings us to the new Super 7 Reaction series. This is the three and three quarter inch Mondo Gecko, which the design of Mondo really translates to that smaller scale. Now he comes with a very simplified skateboard. The wheels don't rotate. It has a very simplified graphic detail on the top of the board, which definitely works. It looks good. He's got two little peg holes, right? So you can situate him on there. Mondo Gecko is really a combination of the Archie comics, the cartoon, and the Playmates version, which I don't mind. It's kind of its own thing. But uh, the graphic detail on the shirts kind of suggests cartoon, whereas it's also Playmates, but uh, minimal articulated, right? You got the tail, the legs, the arms, and the head. Great paint overall, so he definitely does look good. Nothing moves as far as the wrists or the feet, so he's kind of stuck in this semi-pre-posed look, but he does fit really well on top of the skateboard. You simply just plug him in just like that. And again, while the wheels don't rotate, he can certainly skate around and look all cool in this more smaller three and three quarter inch scale. And if you were wondering how they all measure up to one another, well, we'll start with Super 7 here. So the turtles are a little bit taller than Mondo. That definitely works. I'll give them that. As far as Super 7 matching up with NECA toys, the style is just a little bit too different. It's more cartoon to that Playmate style, so you don't really fit all too well. Then you have the original Playmates, which, yeah, they're entirely too small, of course. But if you wanted to go the Super 7 route, you get the idea. Smaller than Playmates. But, uh, yeah, same company, you know what I mean? <laughs> NECA Toys is Turtles in terms of Playmates. No, they're not going to match up. They're entirely too small to the NECA figures. Of course, all versions of their cartoon turtles go together so well. They are perfectly scaled, and they look fantastic. So I highly recommend that line. But pairing them up with the Super 7, it doesn't look too shabby. Of course, this could fit. But once you kind of outstretch Mondo's legs, he will be taller then Mikey, the original Playmates Turtles compared to Super 7. You kind of figure how that's going to go. Entirely too tall. And then you have the cartoon versions of NECA. Not so much. But hey, the original Mondo, well, he's going to go with them just fine. And then, of course, all day, just to kind of show you. The reaction are going to be smaller every day of the week. Eh, nothing's going to change. But if you have a collection of Mondo Geckos, why not add the reaction one to it, right? I mean... I did, so if you have your reaction turtles, yeah, for the most part, they will go together. So, a whole host of Mondo geckos, really nice sculpts overall, really nice paints, different iterations over the years. It's always fun to see different companies tackle the iconic look of Mondo gecko. So, that's really going to wrap it up for my look at the very many Mondos of Geckos from many different companies, NECA Toys, Super 7, and of course the originals Playmates Toys. I highly recommend them all. Like I said, Mondo Gecko is a personal favorite of mine, and ultimately he's just a really cool looking well-designed skateboarding reptile. The boards are always cool. The paint, again, always really bright and vibrant, always with the yellow t-shirt, with the skateboard paraphernalia all over him. But as always, I'm curious to know what you guys think about each of these Mondo Geckos. Are they for you? Do you have any of them? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Mondo Gecko. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, yeah, I think I'm pretty good on Mondo Geckos, right? Uh, well, maybe. We'll see. Whatever time brings in the future maybe the maybe one more mondo gecko who knows and when you do let me know what you found i'll talk to you guys soon adios